Yay, May Cafe! Ah, oh, I should be young. Should be young right now, but we we had a May Cafe. We had a May Cafe in this country? Oh, it must be America. <laughs> yes, apparently so. It's been open for a few years, but save it. I'll pass. So you want to accompany on my pilgrimage? I contemplate it for a moment, but the icy breeze reminds me that I should probably be indoors. <laughs> yeah, you'll probably have to handle this one on your own. No! Suit yourself. Rest assured, I shall return with the tales of beauty and splendor for the world of knee socks and lace. Look forward to it. Take me with you! Take me with you! No! Lucas charges off into the non-existent sunset. Uh, I guess this means I have to go home by myself. No! So close to heaven! I'm halfway to warp and comfort when I catch a glimpse of a certain little sister. Rin? So I'm guessing it didn't go well? He couldn't make it! Had to meet up with a friend from out of town! He? Hmm, guess she isn't afraid to admit it now. Well, that's not so bad. At least you didn't get rejected. I, I told you! It wasn't a date! They're just going to the arcades! You're blushing. Really? So what was the fuss about? Well, you know, boys are scary. I know I should be trying to help her, but come on, that's just too cute. Let me hug her! Let me freaking hug her! You you denied me my maids! Let me hug my sister! There are some guys who would fall for you instantly if they heard you say a thing like that. But those aren't the scary ones! Of course, of course. Well, what can I say? You're growing up. You should be proud. Growing up is less fun than I expected! True that, sister. Tell me about it. Say, I got an idea! Please don't set me up with one of your friends! I don't think that would be a very good idea. Wait. Hey, hey! Are you implying something? Way to go, self. A anyway, I was just trying to say that we should go somewhere. Huh? Where? I don't know. Anywhere. Let's go to the mall. I'll treat you to a Sunday or something. POSSIBILITY OF MAID CAFE! <laughs> I'm not so dimensional as to be satisfied with something as simple as a dessert, you know? Liar, you're drooling from thinking about it. Well, it's not my fault if Sundays are sweet and creamy and delicious. Okay, so Dixie's snoring can get caught by the capture, but very little. You're probably not going to be able to hear. So, what are we going to do for our date, Oni Chan? Can you please not call this a date? People will get the wrong idea. They'll think I'm an incestual bastard. But, but you promised me a Sunday! Isn't that a complete non sequitur? Uh, anyway, why don't you decide what to do? I'll do whatever you ask for today. Hmm, I like the sound of that, but aren't you just pushing the decision on me because you have no idea what to do on a normal date? You virgin loser! Ouch. That's kind of mean, even for you. Don't worry, I'll figure something fun. Leave it to me! This is tiring! Do you really have such little stamina? Even 12 year olds could handle this. Okay, the music makes me think of Punch Out training with Doc Lewis. <laughs> it's easier said than done. I've never done it before, so. All you have to do is put your body into it. Don't let them get away. But, but, but they're too fast! Score 15 out of 50. You've gotta be kidding me! Why? What can I say? Whack-a-mole is harder than it looks. It's whack-a-mole? It's literally just hitting the moles. It's not hard. I know, and the UFO catcher was even harder. She played about ten times to get one eye before realizing that it was more or less a waste of time. I wonder what Lucas would say if he saw you lose to a game like this. Actually, we could probably sympathize. He can't play air hockey properly. I guess you're better at things that don't involve standing up. I'm better at things that run on a steady frame rate. Real life doesn't run on a steady frame rate? Hey, video games don't run on a steady frame rate either. They automatically adjust. At least by changes of like 0.5 or so. Whatever you think is steady is not steady. 
Anyway, you're not going to let yourself get defeated by Whack-A-Mole, are you? Come on, try it again! I say this knowing full well that I'm paid, but she's bound to get physically tired after a few rounds, right? Alright! I'm going for it! Wah! She spots the mole as soon as it appears, so she swings at it. And misses. She swung at it! And missed! She took another swing! And missed! She took another swing! And missed! She had a popsicle in her mouth! I deceive him, but this stupid thing is too heavy! You n do know it's meant for kids, right? Yeah, crazy weightlifting kids who eat raw eggs and run around during recess! As opposed to level grinding your Pokemon so you can beat the last boss with Rattata? I may have done that one or t once or twice. It was in the top percentage of Rattata! Okay, I have not done it. it was, mine was in the bottom percentage of Rattata. Swing! And a miss! See, by the time you're covering a recoil of one swing, the next mole is already about to disappear. I know that! I can see them too! It just takes so long to move this thing across the board! That's because you're putting too much force into it. It's not hammer mole, it's just, just whack them. But then you have to lift it up right away and move all the way to the upper corner! Wah! She got one. And missed the following two. The moles give up on her and disappear. No fair! 17 out of 50. I guess it's a bit better? One more time! This is gonna be a long day. I tend to be wrong about a lot of things, but there's one thing but there's one thing I know. It's that Rin has very little stamina for physical activity. I was putting my wallet on the line back there, but she got tired after four games. Shame she never scored higher than 25. <laughs> you sound tired. I haven't worked this hard since phys physical education in elementary school. Er, don't you have phys ed in the first year of high school too? Technically yes, but well, you know. I don't know, not sure if I want to know. <laughs> you know, this was supposed to be a treat for you, but I get the feeling I'm not doing a very good job. It's okay, all that matters is that I'm with you, right? Still, I have to find a way to outdo that guy who stood you up. It's my duty as a brother. He, he did it. I mean, wait, we already went through this. Ouch. Anyway, we can't sit around here forever. I'll carry your coat if I have to. You're already carrying my coat. Well, this time I'll do it willingly. It's fine, just forget about it. Why don't we go look at some clothes or something? Hey, clothes are a waste of money. It's not like I'll find where I want here anyway. Wait, you mean you were actually planning on seeking out and purchasing an article of clothing in your own time and with your own money? Ouch! It's not for school or for a guy or anything like that. It's for you, Onija! It, it's... It's for cosplay? You know me so well! I love this girl. Please. <laughs> the pair of arms wrap themselves around me. Yay, they show Mark, finally. <laughs> I'm magenta hair. Y you can let go now. Wow, are you studying? Stuttering? Did I make you stutter? God damn it, Ren, I love you. I haven't made you stutter in years. Since when was this a game? You did it again! Alright, now I'm never letting go! Fine, fine, you'll get bored when I stop reacting. Duh! It's so cute! It's so cute! I want a Rin doll. Seriously though, thanks Mark! I grab the still grinning Rin by the armpits and lift her off of me. Come on, the evening isn't over yet. Right! In a good way, I assume? I don't think it's possible for something to be sweet in a bad way! I silently agree. It's hard to deny the delicious delicacies of ice cream and fruit. Not that I could ever bring myself to order something like that. I could! Sugar! So how about it? Are you feeling better now? And yes, 
for anyone listening, which I doubt anyone is since this series doesn't get a single view. I am like Gaius from Fire Emblem. I love my sugar. SUGAR! She starts to reply and abruptly stops. The spoonful of sugary cream, creamy sugar, hangs in the air. Yeah, I'm feeling better. I wasn't expecting a serious reply. Are you disappointed by actually listening to you from time to time? Maybe. After all, it means uh, I can't pretend to talk seriously on a whim when I'm bored and want to see an amusing reaction. But that's not what you're doing now. Of course not. I catch myself smiling before quickly reverting to my in-character, I'm only here because I have to be gays. Um, thanks! <coughs> Rin's eyes drift down to the strawberry sitting atop the Tower of Edible Heaven. Author, thank you. Don't mention it. Although, if there's anything you want to tell me, feel free to say it. She scoops up some of the moat of melted ice cream surrounding the center and accidentally slurps it. It was nothing big, I told you, right? I got my class to be playing a fighting game during self-study and asked if I wanted to challenge him in VRK. The spoon hangs limply in her fingers, grazing the vanilla mountain. And I agreed, of course. I mean, I wasn't sure how I was supposed to go somewhere alone with a guy, but I kind of had to agree. And then... Her sh shoes scrape the ground as she kicks her feet back and forth. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Forget the semantics. You want to meet him again, right? Then go do it. There's no rule saying that every emotion needs a proper name. You took me seriously? You called me by my name. I kind of had to. Shoot. That was an accident. I know. That's why I believed you. Rena. She pokes at a strawberry with her spoon as if pondering which angle to bite it from. No need to get that serious. I wish you could see the look on your face right now. It's like you're already planning out your wedding ceremony. It, it, it's not that. I, I just... And please don't say something cheesy like, I just want to see him again tomorrow and talk about inconsequential things. <coughs> ah, how nostalgic. I haven't made a face like that in three years. <coughs> you're making me feel like an old man. <coughs> you think? Actually, Mark, I've seen that face on you pretty recently. Uh, how recently? Oh, not long. About a week, or maybe two. Mira's watery eyes on that cold hilltop pop into my mind, along with Lillian's silhouette against the sunset. I guess I've been busy, too. I don't doubt it. She grins as she swallows a half-melted mouthful of ice cream, whipped cream, and probably a couple more types of cream. By the way, that guy you were talking about, he isn't just some guy who talked to you, is he? You know I'm more patient than you. Well, he's kind of someone I noticed a while ago, and I was going to talk to him, but he's always surrounded my friends, and he seems like a nice guy, but I don't really know him, man. It's all right. I understand. I wish you luck. Try to muster up my most convincing big brother smile. Hopefully I succeeded. Thanks, Mark. Right on cue, she chomps down the strawberry and concludes her battle against mankind's greatest Sunday. I really should have ordered one of those. Yes, you should have, you bastard! I'm hungry! It's getting kind of late. But there's still so much we can do! And this is coming from the person who said there was nothing to do in here an hour ago. That's because I wasn't in the mood to do anything fun. I tease you. Of course, that would be her favorite pastime. You know, if this were a game, we would have to go shopping for clothes. And then you'd get to watch me try the swimsuits and rate them on a scale of 1 to 10. You sound like you wouldn't mind doing that. I guess I could if you want me to. <sighs> please! Please! Please do it next time on whatever whatever we're gonna call this. Fuck it.